Owning a Porsche sports car is already a pretty special thing. You have the clatter of a boxer engine, the great driving experience, and the style. They're all easy to fall in love with. And if you want more style, performance, and engagement from your Boxster, Porsche is happy to accommodate you with the 718 Boxster GTS. Porsche's GTS lines have always bridged the gap between the normal S models and the more high performance offerings. But in the case of this one, this is the best 718 there's ever been. How does it look? The 718 Boxster is already an attractive car, with its perfect, classic mid-engine dimensions. The GTS improves on that style with standard black 20-inch wheels, tinted headlights and taillights, a lightly updated fascia, black tailpipes, and black badges. How's the storage? There's 4.4 cubic feet of cargo space in the traditional trunk, and 5.2 cubes in the informal trunk. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it was enough that I was able to stuff a 50-quart cooler in there for a friend's barbecue over the weekend. And if you can haul a cooler, then do you really need to haul anything else? Unfortunately, there's much less cargo space in the cabin. The door pockets are barely big enough for a 12-ounce can of Red Bull, and the center console can take a phone or a pair of sunglasses and not much else. Like most roadsters, the cup holders are laughable. Is it roomy? The Boxster is only as roomy as it needs to be. For drivers in the six foot range, there's enough leg and headroom that it doesn't feel claustrophobic. And it's wide enough that you won't be rubbing shoulders with your passenger too much. But the standard six way manual seats only offer so much adjustability. It's worth upgrading to the powered 14 or 18 way chairs. How does the interior feel? Even though this is a tiny roadster and it is very lightly equipped, it doesn't really skimp on material quality. The plastics are fantastic and the major touch points, the steering wheel, the shifter, the seats, the paddles, they all feel amazing. This Alcantara is great. These metal paddles are a joy to work and I love the idea of having a steering wheel without any buttons on it. It puts you in the mood for driving. Is it well equipped? The 718 Boxster GTS gets plenty of standard performance bits, but is light in terms of other equipment. Adaptive dampers, an active exhaust system, the Sport Chrono Package, stout brakes, and Xenon headlights are all standard. But much of the gear in the interior is optional, ranging from heated seats and navigation to any active safety equipment. The seats and climate control are manual, and there's just a six-speaker audio system available as standard. How's the infotainment system? Infotainment is one of the few areas where this Porsche is average. The infotainment system on the 718 Boxer GTS isn't as good or attractive as Porsche's newer models, but it's easy enough to figure out and it responds quickly. Is it a good daily driver? Roadsters are not typically thought of as good daily drivers. They're toys that you take out on the weekend and on sunny days and not that you sit in traffic or bad weather with, but the Boxer does work every day. The seats are very, very comfortable. I could easily do a multi-hour drive in these or deal with traffic day in and day out. With the roof down, even at about 50 miles an hour, there's not a lot of wind noise. It's, it's tolerable. I've got the wind deflector in place. I've got both the windows up and I could easily have a conversation if someone would put up with my driving. Our test car has the upgraded Porsche Active Suspension Management System that's three quarters of an inch lower than stock but the ride doesn't really suffer. I'm in the softer of the two damper settings right now, and even on this kind of pockmarked, uncomfortable bit of road, the car does a good job of smoothing out the worst unpleasantness. That said, I would happily spend the extra two or three grand for the 14-way or 18-way adjustable seats that Porsche sells. It'd just be better for everyday driving. Is it fun to drive? Yeah, the Porsche is fun to drive. There's a 2.5 liter turbocharged flat four sitting right behind me, pumping out 365 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. 
that's enough to get this car to 60 in just 3.9 seconds, which is plenty fast for a little car. But my favorite thing about this powertrain is the seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. This is one of Porsche's PDK gearboxes and it is fantastic. The shifts are fast, they're seamless. When left in automatic mode, they execute without hunting or without trying to figure out, oh, what gear should I be in? It just knows and delivers the power as soon as you want it. The GTS gets stronger brakes and they do a really solid job of bringing this car to a halt without fading. The pedal feel is great too, so you can beat on it and beat on it and beat on it and you know exactly how much pedal you're applying to the car at a time. The steering is excellent and so is the suspension. This is an agile car, it's so much fun to drive, so engaging and there's so much feedback that you're just spoiled. You want to drive this car around turns and you want to drive it faster and faster and faster every time you go out. It's an absolute riot of a roadster. How's the fuel economy? Equipped with the optional seven speed double clutch transmission, the 718 Boxer GTS returns 20 miles per gallon city, 26 highway, and 22 combined. Like so many four cylinder turbocharged engines, it requires premium fuel. How much is it? Prices for the Boxster GTS start at 82,800, or 11,400 more than a Boxster S. While it's easy to increase that price to exorbitant levels with the options catalog, our tester is restrained. The only upgrades are the seven-speed dual-clutch transmission, heated seats, the upgraded Porsche active suspension, navigation, and the Porsche Connect Plus telematic suite, bringing the S-tested price with the $1,050 destination charge to an even 91 grand. What are the negatives? The Boxster suffers from many of the same ills as other roadsters. It's small and there's limited cargo space. But in the case of our test car, at $91,000 as tested, it's also not cheap. That number butts right up against the price of a base 911, a car that offers many of the same thrills, or arguably more thrills, but in a more livable everyday package. Who should buy it? The 718 Boxster GTS is an interesting take on the Roadster. It's a great choice for people who own a Audi TTS convertible or even a Jaguar F-Type, but are looking to step up into something more aggressive and more focused, more hardcore. At the same time, 911 owners that want the sun on their face and the wind in their hair could consider it as an alternative to the 911 Cabriolet and that car's compromised aesthetics. 